Hi, welcome back to Golf KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Golf KRC. So, this isn't a review. Before I start, I must admit, say this isn't a review. This is a first impressions video. I have flown this for roughly three and a half minutes. And I've got the video footage coming up at the end of this that you can see it's only been recorded. I've flown it up and down my street. All I've done with it. The weather's not great here and I haven't had the time today to do it. So I had this originally ordered from DJI and then cancelled it because I changed my mind. And there would be mess the DJI was just a mess of the ordering system. So a couple of days ago I decided to buy it, so I bought it, I managed to get hold of it, and I had it delivered within two days. And it came today. So I've watched loads of videos on this. I'm not one of these people that doesn't watch the videos. I like to watch the videos because I like to make sure what I'm telling is accurate. So I watch other people's videos and then I make my own mind up. And the first thing everybody said in the video when they've got it out of the box is how small it is. Oops, caught the camera. How small it is. That wasn't my impression. When I took it out of the box, I thought, how cheap is this? Because the build on it is cheap. The plastic thin all over. And they've done that to save weight. And I understand totally why they've done that. And when it's folded up, it's very small. It's smaller than a Mavic Air when it's folded. It's smaller than most things when it's folded. So as you can see, size of my hand. I haven't got massive hands, but it's small. It looks absolutely amazing. But you can see it's, the plastic they've used is really thin. Now, they've done that to get to 249 grams, and I appreciate that. I absolutely do. But there's a few things that I don't really understand about this. So, they've done it to get it to 249 grams, and that's fine, but if I put, if I put a sensor on the front, uh, it's not a sensor, if I put any kind of adapter on the front of here so I can get better shots, I can then defilter, I want to be over 249 grams, definitely, they weigh at least 3 grams, 2 or 3 grams, and I want to be over. If I put some stickers on here, I bet you I'm over because this is 249 grams. So anything you do to this, you're going to make it over. Certainly if you fly with a prop guard, add it by the prop guard version. So just looking at this, is the not this is all I got. I only wanted the one battery, mainly I wanted to test this to see how good it was. And the flight you're going to see was in about 12 mile an hour winds. And it did cope. Um, but you're going to see what it does do. Now I don't know if this is because of the wind, I say first flight, or whether this is what it does. So I'm filming the 2.6. 2.7k with 30 frames a second. You're going to see on the video, I think it's roughly halfway through, I fly down the street and then I your turn it. So I don't stop and turn it that way, I your turn. So as I'm coming round, I'm doing that with the stick. So I'm bringing this stick round, I fly mode one. So I'm bringing my rudder round, if you like, and I'm bringing my airlock round. So I'm doing that. Once you're doing that, I don't know if it's because of the wind or this is what the camera's like, you're going to see it blurs out. It tries to hold the image of the picture, but what you get is a blurred... You'll see the houses, watch on the video, and you're going to see the houses, they blur. Now that could be just the fact that I'm then flying in a 12 mile an hour wind and I'm making it work hard by doing a yaw turn. But I yaw turn all the time, I don't turn just by using my rudder, I yaw turn. So, that's a little bit disappointing, but is it just that? And is it going to be better in 1080 pieces? This is not a review, I'm going to do a full review of this when I've done a proper flight so I can give my judgement on it. At the minute, this is just my initial impressions. The controller, yeah it feels okay, but for what, for, I have no idea why they just didn't use the controller that comes with a spark of the Mavic Air, because it looks like it, but it isn't like it, because it's a cheaper build. These gimbals feel a bit cheaper, they're nice and springy, but they just feel a little bit cheaper. The wheel feels cheaper. Everything just, just everything just feels that little bit cheaper. Because I bought this version, this only comes with the four, if you like, props, because there's two on each side. So you get enough to replace two motors worth of props. Uh, you get some cables, you get all the cables to adapt to it. I've given this on an iPhone. So you get those, and what else do you get in the box? You get a charging cable for this. And that's about it, really. That's, that's all you get in the box. I can't remember saying so. It's some instruction manual, I believe. So there is a manual in the box. One thing I will say off the bat, and this is off the bat, but I will tell you this for certain. If you keep flying this in 15, 20 mile an hour winds, these motors are not going to last. When you've got even 12 mile an hour winds, these motors are working hard. These motors are ridiculously small. 
and they're not going to be of the quality of the racing drone. These are very small motors and very light to give you the ability to keep it at 249 grams. But they are good. You, if you fly this in 15, 20 mile an hour winds all the time, these are not going to last. I live in the UK and it's not always that, but it is normally 10 mile an hour. Uh, a lot of the time in the winter, you might get the calmer day, but they're rare. And these motors will, I, I have a feeling these motors won't last. They're too small. And they're done to keep the weight down, I totally understand that. If you're buying this drill, and that's the only reason you want to buy it, to keep it down to 249 grams, because you want to keep it under, so you don't have to register it. Well, if you're in the UK, yeah, that's the bad news, because next year this thing will need registering, because it's got a camera on the front. Anything that's got a video camera on that's capable of recording video, will need to be registered. So, even all the stuff that I build, it, it, and the FPV stuff I build, that's un most of it's over because I fly 5 inch, but the 3 inch stuff, or I'm registered anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. But is that the only reason you're buying it? I don't know. I can't tell you whether this is a good or bad buy at the minute because I've already flown it 3 minutes in the wind and I've not flown it on a calmer day to see what it performs like. What I will say, it flies superb. It flies like a DJI. You feel like you're flying a DJI. Even in the wind, I have no issues with it. It flew. It, coming back to me it's a bit slower, it's a bit slower coming back when you're fighting wind, downwind it was going like a rocket. So that's its massive benefit. The massive benefit is you're buying the DJI product and it flies like a DJI. I have owned every single DJI product so far. I'll be totally honest with you, this is the most disappointing one out of the box that I've had. But it's out of the box. I haven't flown it properly. I must stress this isn't a review, this is my initial thoughts. My initial thoughts at the minute is would I upgrade from the Spark to this? And the answer would be no. But I haven't had any kind of long flight on it. It's it's too early to make a judgment. But I thought I'd make this video just to get my thoughts across and show you a quick bit of video footage and see how sharp the camera is. The camera's sharp until you get that blur in when you're doing yours. But again, if you spin it fast on your if, you, if you're flying in the air and you do a fast spin with your yaw, it is definitely going to blur. Well, it's not going to blur, you're going to get a streak. It's going to streak because it can't handle it. Um, because the sensor in here is tiny, I'd imagine. So that's a gimbal. It's a little three-axis gimbal. Uh, from my point of view, I think this, I don't, I wish they'd have made a 350 gram one and made it stronger, tougher and put a 4K camera on it. That's my initial thought. Then I'd have happily paid another 100 quid. So I'd have paid 100 pound more for this and it'd be 450. If it had a 4K camera and it weighed 350 grams and it was more like what I expected it to be. To call this a mini Mavic at the minute, I mean, it's not really, it's just a budget drone. And it's gone in all the budget classes, Xenos and all that. And I'm not saying for one minute the Xeno or anything else is better than this. But when I do a test, I might do. I might tell you this isn't as good as certain other drones. Remember, this is just my initial impressions. But the massive thing I take away from this is it flies well. The worry for me is, in the wind, will these motors last? And was that camera representative of what it's always going to look like? You can see in the video. And is it just because it's only doing 40 meg a bits per second? And it's got 30 frames a second. 30 frames a second isn't going to pose the problem. If you've only got 40 megabits a second and your sensor's not very good, you're going to get an issue. So, I'll leave you with that. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have, had a, fantastic, have a fantastic day.
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up